Many people have been fascinated by stories of getting rich quickly and making easy money in Second Life. But are these tales of virtual wealth just pixelated pipe dreams or real opportunities? Let's explore the realities of making money in Second Life and discover the truth behind them. Welcome to Second Life Spectrum, Life in Pixels, your gateway to exploring Second Life. I'm Presca Newell and today I'm here to guide you through the myth and realities of earning a living in Second Life. In Second Life, the economy works like the real world economy. People make and sell things like fashion, real estate, entertainment and education. They use a currency called Linden Dollars, which can be exchanged for real money like dollars or euros. But here is the thing. The stories of success you often hear are only part of the story. For every successful virtual entrepreneur, there are many who have a hard time making money. The economy here is competitive and has many different aspects. Understanding how it works is important if you want to make actual money in Second Life. So how do people actually make money? And what does it take to be successful? Let's delve into the common perceptions and the actual path to profitability in this virtual world. You can find plenty of advice on making money quickly and easily. And if you've been looking for ways to earn in SL, you've probably seen plenty of videos or social media posts that make big promises of simple riches. Let's explore some of these popular ideas. One popular way to become rich in Second Life is by investing in virtual properties. The concept sounds straightforward. Buy land, develop it, and either rent or sell for a profit. Yet, this simplistic view overlooks the crucial complexity of the venture. Entering the virtual real estate market requires a substantial initial investment. Beyond purchasing the land, there are costs involved in development and upkeep. Understanding the market dynamics is crucial as is patience. Turning a profit often takes much longer than anticipated. In sharing my experience with Aussie Shores, my estate in Second Life, it's important to note that while it doesn't generate profit for me, it brings me immense satisfaction. Providing a great home to residents, some of whom have been with me for years and others who return for special occasions has been incredibly fulfilling. This venture is about building a community and connecting with amazing people. However, it requires my constant attention and personal financial investment to maintain its standards. I could potentially raise rental prices, as some estates do, but the rental market in Second Life is unpredictable. Some months are better than others. Another significant aspect is management. Running an estate is not a one-person job and finding reliable staff to help manage the properties is a challenge in itself. This aspect becomes even more daunting if you're not prepared to invest aggressively in marketing and staff. Moreover, the rise of premium memberships in Second Life offers residents the option to live in Linden homes or own parcels on the mainland, adding to the competition in the virtual real estate market. This makes the task of attracting tenants or buyers even more challenging. Being a virtual real estate mogul in Second Life is more than just buying and selling land. It can be a rewarding path, but you have to approach it with realistic expectations and a comprehensive strategy. An alternative to aiming for mobile status is to consider a role as an estate manager. Estate managers often receive commissions for finding tenants. They may be offered free rentals or even earn regular wages for their management services. Another popular idea is to start your own fashion line or retail store. Second Love has a thriving fashion scene, but building a successful brand takes more than just creativity. It also requires marketing knowledge, excellent customer service, and a solid understanding of the community's preference. 
This is a highly saturated market with fierce competition. Planning events in Second Life combines creativity with careful organizations. It's a field full of opportunities from fancy weddings to small gatherings. While the job seems fancy, it requires careful planning, good networking and sometimes a lot of time and resources. Planning a wedding, which is a popular niche, involves expenses for venues and decorations, as well as working with different services providers such as officiant, videographers and DJs. Each event, no matter how big or small, needs a customized approach to meet the expectation of the clients and bring their ideas to reality. The difficulties of organizing events go beyond the practical aspects. It's about turning ideas into unforgettable experiences, often working with limited time. Getting started in this industry may require upfront costs for creating flexible venues and themes. Event planning can be very rewarding, even though it has challenges. It allows you to create memorable moments and connect with many clients. It's a job that requires creativity, planning, and a passion for creating amazing experiences. Becoming a DJ or a live singer offers an exciting avenue for those with the talent, blending accessibility with potential rewards. For skilled individuals, this virtual platform can extend their reach and open new opportunities. To bring your music or singing skills to Second Life, you need to invest in necessary equipment and a music stream. This setup is the first step to creating a presence and connecting with an audience. The market for DJs and live singers is highly competitive and achieving success depends not only talent but also on effective marketing and networking skills. While some top DJs can earn more than $10,000 per gig, equivalent to about $40, US others may only make around $2,000, approximately $8. US Although these amounts may not seem significant, they highlight the potential of Second Life as a way to earn money on the side while pursuing your passion for music. The difference in earnings show the importance of creating a strong personal brand and a loyal fan base in a crowded market. The path to becoming a DJ or live singer in Second Life is full of opportunities and needs a balance of talent, strategic self-promotion and flexibility. Opening and running an adult club in Second Life is often seen as a guaranteed way to make money, but it is not a venture you can undertake lightly. It requires a significant initial investment, and when I say investment, I mean it. Every step from finding a location to creating the club's atmosphere and design involves financial input. This is not a shortcut to quick earnings, it's a business that needs to be well funded and thoughtfully planned. The idea that sex sales might be true, but it doesn't guarantee instant success. The adult club scene in Second Love is highly saturated, with established clubs holding a large portion of the market. To compete with these experienced clubs, you'll need to not only create an engaging club, but also find your own unique niche. Once your club is up and running, the next important task is getting people to visit. Attracting and keeping visitors requires ongoing promotion, which may involve extra cost. Whether you advertise within the virtual world or create a dedicated website, these steps are essential for increasing visibility. One quicker way to earn in this niche is by becoming a dancer or an escort. These jobs typically require little investment compared to running an adult club. Due to the content guidelines of YouTube, I won't go into the specifics, but I discuss these topics in detail in my book. You can find the link in the description. On a personal level, my experience with starting an adult club was both exciting and challenging. It required a lot of money, time and effort to create a beautiful venue. 
Unfortunately, the project took an unexpected turn when my business partner suddenly quit, leaving the project in limbo. This situation highlights the importance of finding trustworthy and dedicated business partners, which can be very difficult in Second Life. All the details about this venture is explained in my book. If you're intrigued by the idea of running an adult club and think you have what it takes to bring my silent project to life, I'm open to suggestion. Remember, this is a niche where the rewards can be significant, but so are the investments and challenges. Interior design and landscaping offer creative avenues to showcase your style and potentially make money. These jobs often start with minimal investment using items you already own for furnishing and decorating. These jobs demand more than just placing furniture or plants. They require an eye for details, a knack for style and the skill to create cohesive themes. Talented designers can quickly bring a concept to life, transforming spaces in ways you might never have thought possible. While mastering these skills takes time, the journey can be incredibly rewarding. Building a portfolio is crucial. Many starts by offering their services for free to friends, which also helps in organizing and effectively using their inventory. This approach is key for quickly adapting to various clients' preferences from modern to traditional aesthetics. From my own experience, when hiring decorators or landscapers in Second Life, I look at their portfolio and reviews first, and then consider their pricing. The last interior designer I hired, the cheapest price was 5,000 lindens for one room, which is about 20 US dollars. In total, I spent 28,500 lindens, which is about 118 dollars. US dollars. Wow. <laughs> and it wasn't even the whole house. I think when you are immersed in Second Life, you just don't realize how much money you actually end up spending. It took a couple of days to do the whole job. Landscaping is around the same prices, give or take. So it is a good skill to have that can potentially become a good side hustle at the very least. Photography and videography jobs are similar to opportunities in interior design and landscaping and rely on building a strong reputation. For people who are already skilled in photography, graphic design or video editing, there is a clear advantage. If you own software like Photoshop or Premiere Pro, you don't have to spend the money on these tools. But if you're starting out, you have to either buy software or find free alternatives and learn how to use them. While professionals might charge higher prices, those new to the field can attract clients with more affordable rates, offering quality work without the professional price tag. Creating a name for yourself in Second Life's visual art scene begins by showing off your skills. You can start by offering free services such as making profile pictures for your friends. Sharing your work on platform like Flickr is an excellent way to advertise your abilities. Flickr is really good for promoting Second Life photography. Even with a free account you can achieve success by focusing on quality safe content and smart management of uploads. Videography is seeing a surge in demand, from events to promotional content, there are various opportunities to explore. Being successful as a photographer or videographer mostly depends on your portfolio and how you can grow your client base. Offering services based on what you love or what you're good at is another way to make money. This can include things like giving advice, teaching or using your knowledge and skills in areas like art or education. 
the flexibility of Second Life enables the replication of real-life interactions, allowing for a variety of services to be provided. It's about using your skills and adapting them to the needs of Second Life. Be careful though and follow Second Life's guidelines. For instance, even though it may seem helpful to manage someone else's inventories, it's not allowed to access someone else's account according to the terms of services. Doing so could pose serious security risk, including unauthorized access to personal and financial information. To succeed in providing services, it is important to establish a good reputation for being reliable and delivering high quality work. Make sure to provide excellent service, respect client privacy and always add value to your interactions. There are many smaller jobs opportunities available for resourceful individuals. While these jobs may not make you extremely rich, they provide extra lindens. This extra income can be helpful in improving and maintaining your second life experience, allowing you to enjoy the virtual world with a little more financial comfort. As we conclude our exploration of Second Life's economy, it's important to understand that being successful in this virtual world requires a combination of creativity, planning and determination. While many people make a full-time income in Second Life, it's important to remember that most didn't achieve this level of success right away. Many successful entrepreneurs started in the early days of Second Life when there was less competition and a growing market. Recent success stories, on the other hand, often come from careful planning and offering something unique and innovative. These newer brands and businesses have found their own place in the virtual world by identifying and serving specific niches and by bringing fresh ideas to existing markets. Whether driven by financial needs, a passion for creativity or long-term business goals, success in Second Life is attainable. Remember, every big success in Second Life started with a small step. Your journey is unique and with the right approach, you can carve out your own success story in this digital universe. As you embark or on, as you embark on or continue your journey, stay true to your vision, embrace the learning process and be patient. Second Life is vast and filled with potential. Your success story in this digital universe is waiting to be written. Thank you for joining me. If this video has been informative and helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more insight into the dynamic world of Second Life. Stay connected, keep exploring and above all, believe in the possibilities that Second Life holds for you. This is Priska Neuro signing off from Second Life Spectrum, Life in Pixels.